Yes, some of the founders had slaves, but almost all of them knew that it was morally wrong and would. I mean, did Thomas Jefferson know it was morally wrong when he was raping all of them? When, when he was raping his slaves? I'm, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure he didn't, didn't really, didn't really say this, this, this comes down to a question of ethics. Like, I'm going to enslave you, but I feel real bad about it. One Prager U. One Prager U is a treat. All right, as, as a little treat. It's their newest one. It's called America's Promise. America's got a promise, y'all. I want to learn. I want to learn about what America's Promise is. I want to tell you something that everybody once knew, and now many have either forgotten or never learned. Mm -hmm. Pay very close attention. America promises you freedom. Okay. America does not promise you love. Okay. Let's start with the freedom part. It's all right there in the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So what, what were these documents written on top of? Was, was, there, was there indigenous people uh, who may have been uh, genocided? And then, I, don't, I mean, I just, I, I feel like they didn't have a lot of freedom, you know? Just the freedom to live probably would have been nice. The, free, the freedom not to die and be raped and enslaved probably, probably would have been nice, you know? But hey, uh, you got a great second act coming up, America. You, you got another one. You got another one that's about to happen. So let's, let's see where this goes. Free speech. Freedom to practice the religion of your choice. The purpose of government is to protect your freedom, period. America was a rough and tumble place in its early days. It still is. Let's hope it always remains so. You don't want to live in a country where all your needs are taken care of by the government. God damn. What? That sounds so grim. It's like you're acknowledging that it's pretty shitty for people who aren't like white cis men. And then it's like even for... You know, white cis men who are poor because there's a fuck ton of poor white people in America. Holy shit, there's a lot of poor white people. Uh, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Look, they they may tell you, all right. They may they may speak of promises, promises of uh, health care and and promises of of universal things. I mean, we actually have the means to be able to feed every human being on the planet twice over. We we throw out twice as much food as we consume, uh, but. But why would you want that? I mean, that's look at look at how terrible this communist future looks. This is the future that communists want you to have. God damn. Care of by the government. I would like the CIA to feed me grapes. That I I'm sorry. I, I, objectively, I, I would like to be able to lie on the couch while the CIA. Their job is no longer to basically fund coups in South and Central America, uh, and, and just feed me grapes. Oh, that sounds awesome. That sounds fucking based. You know, if every single one of them lost their jobs, but then their new jobs was just feeding me grapes. I'm on board. I'm sorry. That's not how you become great. That's how you become dependent, oh. vulnerable, oh. and truly oppressed. Ah, shit. America is a land of opportunity for anyone of any color. Just follow some basic rules. Get an education, okay. work yep. hard, act responsibly, mm -hmm. and you'll have a good shot at a good life. Hmm. But you might also fail. You mm -hmm. might fail a bunch of times and then so it's basically going back to the meritocracy, you know? You, you live and die, you pick yourself up by your bootstraps. That's that's what's going down. And succeed. Or you might succeed and blow it off. That's America, a never-ending dance of risk and reward, all made possible by freedom. Freedom is America's source of power, and the denial of that power to black people and others at the inception of this nation and for nearly 200 years after its founding remains a stain and a source of pain. Cool. Well, at least you can acknowledge that one part. I guess that's that's where it ends though, right? In terms of the black experience in America. Like it's basically after the Civil War, racism ended, right? Yes, some of the founders had slaves. But almost all of them knew that it was morally wrong and would. I mean, did Thomas Jefferson know it was morally wrong when he was raping all of them? 
when when he was raping his slaves I'm, I'm pretty sure pretty sure he didn't didn't really didn't really say this 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 comes down to a question of ethics like I'm gonna enslave you but I feel real bad about it I I feel like I'm just, I'm torn up inside could stop could stop not going to I, it, lots lots of profit to be had frankly you know when uh, there's not only not workers rights but there's not human rights like if we get rid of human rights and I just treat you like cattle uh, and I brand you and I whip you and beat you and rape you a lot of profit to be had not gonna stop but I've got a feeling you know deep down I know this is this is not this is not becoming okay I, hey, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good person. I can acknowledge that. Deep down, I know this is wrong. One day in, when Thomas Jefferson wrote the words, all men are created equal, the slavery question was resolved. The only... <laughs> you, you can't make this shit up. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I should write for Prager. I could make awesome PragerU videos. All right, I can, I could make. I mean, and I will give. I will give Dennis Prager, uh, Prager credit where credit is due. He has an uncanny ability, or his foundation does anyway, to find tokens, tokens for any topic. Like it's as if it shields them from the sheer bat shittery of the words that come out of their mouths. It's like, all right, uh, we got to talk about how it's immoral for gay people to marry. Uh, and they shouldn't have kids because uh, they could mess those kids up. Well, that doesn't really bear out in science or facts or actual human morality at all, sir. It's like, well, what if we get Dave Rubin uh, to say something about that? I mean, we don't get him to say everything, but we just get him up there and he can be like, as a gay man, I, I just don't think I should be allowed to have children. Uh, that's that's my personal lived experience. And then, boom, we have ourselves a PragerU video, you know? All, all you need is you need a token. Uh, and then you need them to say the most batshit stuff that you've ever heard in your life. And then, boom, Prager you. The issue was how and when. And it took a lot longer than it should have. But it did end. And a lot... <laughs> <laughs> when he wrote those words, he didn't decide to stop having slaves or raping them. No, but he did think something out loud that on paper does sound kind of good. All men are created equal. Unless you're indigenous, unless you're not a man, unless you're black. <laughs> yeah, um, sorry, sorry ladies, you won't get to vote for quite some time. You're going to be treated as second class citizens who are basically going to be bang maids. Bang maids for the rest of us strapping gents. That's going to be America. That's going to be uh, the whole thing. But don't worry, don't worry. At a certain point, a lot of us will go to war to fight for war and then you'll enter the workforce and then you'll realize, well, this was complete and utter bullshit. Why am I dealing with these incredibly high levels of depression and being given all these uh, drugs to try and combat it? Because, uh, you know, I guess just living all day as a bang maid isn't exactly like what people want to do hmm interesting a lot of good people died on the battlefield to see that it did and when it ended giants like booker t washington and frederick Douglass understood that black americans would have to succeed on their own as free men and women they had no illusions that the government would save them they only wanted what all americans should ever want the government to do protect their freedom but the founders never promised love. Not more state funding of police. Protect our freedoms. Protect our property. Increase, militarize the police. In fact, give them tanks and bombs and nukes. Let's just increase that. Keep spending. And that's our money too, by the way. That's that's taxpayer money. But like, yeah, give it all. Give it all, baby. I want more freedom. I want more freedom. I want the state to oppress. Need that boot. Not to whites or blacks or anyone else. During his famous I Have a Dream speech, Martin Luther King referenced freedom 20 times. He My never God. once spoke the word love. Why not? Because America has nothing to do with that. If you want love... Science. Science. What the ever-living fuck are you talking about? What? Does, does anyone... Like, what is the straw man you're creating here? Does, is the left like, I, I don't want to abolish the police. I want love. Give me love, Daddy. Daddy America. All I've ever wanted is love. Just love me. And we all do. Look to God, your uh. family, and your friends. 
The government doesn't love you and isn't supposed to. The government is a poor and abusive provider. Mm. It offers the bare minimum and mm. fosters a dependency that undermines freedom. During the 2020 so Black... So wait, are you saying abolish the government? Oh shit, what's going on here? Anarchist you. Lives Matter season, NBA players actually wore jerseys with the slogan, love us, emblazoned on the back. You can't demand love from people. Love is freely given or not given at all. What the fuck Telling are you talking? Telling people not to call you this name or that name or not to act this way or that way. Can you imagine having a conversation with this person? He's like, trust me, all right? You have to understand. Slavery basically ended when the founding fathers wrote the words, all men are created equal, okay? That was how slavery ended. And on top of which, ain't no one ever saying that you should have love in your life, okay? The government does not love you and never will. And you're like, what are you talking about? Why, why are you saying these words out loud? It's funny, it's in English, but yet it makes no sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. Consciously or unconsciously, because it offends you, will not bring you love. Love is your mother's smile, or that look your kid gives you when you come home from work. Love is that man or woman who protects you when you're scared and provides a home where you can flourish. And love is what God offers you every moment of every day. To the government, you're just a social security number nothing more. And I'm okay with that because I don't want or expect the government to know or care about me. Mostly, I want the government to leave me alone. I'm proud to be a- Well, I mean, COVID kind of showed that. Government <laughs> does not care about black people, does not care about indigenous people, does not care about Latin A people, does not care about old people, does not care about poor people. It don't matter your race, you know? That one kind of transcended uh, racial lines there. If you were poor, you were fucked. In America, and I'm proud to be a black man in America. Blacks have made enormous contributions to this country. But let me tell you what our single greatest contribution has been. We have been this nation's moral conscience. Blacks have forced America to live up to its best ideals. Our righteous pursuit of freedom, pursuit of freedom. That is such a weird framing of the whole thing. It's like, yeah, we exist in order to let white people know that they've done some bad things. That is our calling. That's our cross the bear, all right? Every single day, we're a reminder of the one and only one bad thing America has ever done, which was slavery. And that's something that we acknowledge, obviously, as conservatives, that, yeah, slavery, bad. Okay, fine. Fine. We'll give you that one. Left. All right. There's, there's one point to you lefties. But after that, everything's been great. Freedom, not love, compel this nation to seek and find its better self. It's been a long, hard road, mm. but we're close to Dr. King's promised land. Oh, nice. We have reached the mountaintops in politics, in medicine, in space, in literature, in sports, in music, in business. No other majority white country has ever been led by... Id poll. I mean, this is pretty id poll. Pretty id poll for the, for the conservatives. Usually deride id poll, but we got it. We got it. And that's why Obama ended racism single-handedly. The second that he became president, it was like racism over. Over. By a black man or woman, blacks can demand opportunity. That's every American's right. We can demand freedom. That's every American's right. But we can't demand love. That's no one's right. And that brings me back to God. Blacks have suffered mightily and prospered mightily in America. But in our long journey, we've always been headed in the right direction. Well, that's good. That's good. I'm glad. So what's going on here? Fact check. Median wealth is 81 times higher for whites versus black households in D.C. The fact the median white household's wealth is 81 times that of black households. What economic inequality in the U.S. is real and deeply damaging to living standards of the vast majority of families? A chart citing 81% difference in the median wealth between white and black households was posted on Facebook. According to the chart, white median wealth is 284,000. Black median wealth in comparison is 3,500. How long has been uh, studies on the wealth gap? Net worth is the amount of total minus liability. Abilities, everything a household owes, the nation wealth gap exists between black and white families. According to the Brookings Institute policy, says that uh, revealed the typical white family in 2016 was 171,000. That is nearly 10 times that of a typical black family in 2016, which is 17,150. Uh, the other thing about this is it's in decline. Uh, the average median wealth of a black family is actually uh, going down. Uh, some reports say that by 2050, around that range, it's going to reach zero, zero dollars. Um, so things aren't necessarily going better. Uh, they're actually kind of getting worse for certain people. 
Uh, for the richest human beings on the planet, things are getting real good, though. Until now, because we have taken a wrong turn away from God, mm. where we have, as a community, always found strength and solace, and toward government, mm. which offers us nothing but empty promises. I'm Jason Whitlock for Prager University. Mm. Facts and sources for this video are available at PragerU.com. Dubious, dubious. What's uh, what's their their facts and sources going to be on some of the charts and, and data that they show? You know, the ones that are like, bump, 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 and just like all over the place, you know? Yes, God loves us so much he tried to drown us. Man, just wild. Y you know, that like PragerU never fails to find uh, someone that they can utilize in, in some way, shape, or form. It's, like PragerU is very good at exploiting. Always have been. Always have been, always will be. Hey, do you, do you, do you like movies? Do you, do you, like, do you like surfs? Do you, want, do, you want, do you want movies and surf, surfs watching the movies? So then come over to the new channels. It's the surfs the cinema. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Can you do the thing, you know, that uh, thumbs up and comment and all those things that help us out in the algorithm that controls every aspect of our lives? Also, if you happen to have a Facebook account, um, can you can you delete it? Like, just, just delete it. You should probably delete your Facebook account because it's just... It's not a great company, but hey, if you can't do that for whatever reason, I understand. And uh, could you also go to facebook.com slash the surf times then and uh, give us a little like and a follow. We're just trying to push back against the fact that people like Ben Shapiro happen to dominate the platform entirely. And when everyone asks, why do older generations believe the things they believe? One of the problems is the majority of them on social media use Facebook. So to counter that, uh, we're just going to be on there too now. Also, if you happen to have a union or a worker co-op or even a leftist project podcast website, Zoom, MySpace, it doesn't matter. We will advertise it for free on this channel. All you got to do is go to wearesurfs.com and use the forms that we got there, wearesurfs.com. Thanks, everybody. To our gods, I'm Raft and Xander Corvus. We shall build golden idols in your honor. To our monarch, Tom Spiker, our soft, spongy flesh is yours to command. To our lords, Evan Nudy, Trevor R., Alexander Thaler, Ryan Lubin, bisexual black gamer, Toe Fox, and Jeffrey Lamb, we proudly carry your sigils onto the battlefield. And to our knights of the round table, Riley and Anna, Poodlehawk, Multimondi, Timothy Hart, Trevor Janis, Lemmy 101, Anthropophagic, Saren 42, Chronic to Hemp Hog, Kelly Kotka, The Great Poudini, Bon Jenny, Catherine, Radical Maniac, Ramon Acosta, Incosin, J. Fraser Cartwright, Jimmy Big Nuts, Violent Orchard, Sophie Baby, Political Puppy, Andreas Chiringuito, Zach Christensen, Nicholas Marks, Jopi, Josh Mickelson, Melissa Murphy, Todd Buckingham, Todd Lajeunesse, and Constance Joyce Lacheris. We tip our cap and lift our mug and salute you.